I'm Mike Abraham, Deputy Arable Editor at Farmers Weekly. For the past six months, I've been working with Savills to develop our virtual farm model to look at the economics of black grass control. The virtual farm model is a tool that was established by Savills and Farmers Weekly last year. It allows us to look at the economic impact of changes in a world of wide range of variables. It's based on an 800 hectare farm somewhere in the central England and it's broadly representative of an efficient, well-managed business in the top 25% of the industry. The rotation is based on the first and second wheat with oilseed rape and spring bean break crops. As any farmer knows, controlling black grass on farm is getting harder and harder, as Stephen Moss of Rothamsted Research explains. Growers shouldn't be lulled into a false sense of security simply because control of black grass has been quite good this year. Uh, Pre-emergence herbicides work well and conditions were good last autumn for stale seed beds. Black grass in the longer term poses a real threat, particularly because there are no new modes of action coming along and also herbicide resistance is increasing. And this is why non-chemical methods of weed control are increasingly important and we need to consider those uh, integrating non-chemical methods with herbicides to ensure that black grass can be controlled in the longer term sustainably. It is why we've taken the virtual farm model, expanded it over a 10 year period to look at how crop margins could be affected by declining chemical control. We've also looked at whether it is economic to use non-chemical cultural controls such as rotational ploughing, delayed drilling, increasing spring cropping or even fallowing. In our model, starting with a black grass population of 58 plants per square metre, the results show that if chemical control declines by 5% in every wheat crop, crop gross margins across the farm will quickly fall away after an initial period of stability. But if the farm incorporated rotational ploughing or increased the amount of spring crops in the rotation, margins could be successfully maintained, even if chemical control declines. Delay drilling could also be beneficial, providing the field's yield potential can be maintained. The technique appears to be very useful for helping keep black grass populations in check but with the 0.5 tonnes per hectare yield loss we've incorporated into the model as a yield penalty for drilling later in autumn margins have been hit. Perhaps most surprisingly our model also suggests following is not economic or indeed that effective at reducing black grass populations. For following to be effective, it seems higher levels of control than the 76% we've used based on Stephen Moss's research is needed.